Hi, I'm Danny. And I'm Evan. And this is Virtual Reality, where we spill the juiciest reality TV gossip every week. Virtual Reality. Evan, let everybody know who we have right now. We are with the one and only Miss Dr. Jen from the Real Housewives of Orange County. Dr. Jen, we're so excited to have you on Virtual Reality, especially a few weeks after we found out that you're not coming back to the Real Housewives of Orange County, which I know Danny and I are super sad about. And we want to get into it with you because I really wanted to see you back on another season. I know, I know. It's just like, there's so many factors, right? But um, I know it was really fun to do. I loved I loved being on the show. It was wonderful. A little tricky having two full-time jobs and jobs and three kids, but <laughs> manage, but I lived through it. I am still standing, so. Yes, you are. Even with like, you know, some knee, the, the, some, uh, some physical pain, everything like that, you overcame it all, which we loved and we love to get to see that. But I am wondering, is there anything like now looking back and you had your season of reality TV, is there anything that you're like, damn, if I knew that was my one season, I wish I did this. You know what I mean? Well, I think that, I mean, like I love the production company, everything, but what's super frustrating is that you're not control in control of the edit. Right. Mm -hmm. So even if like you're, I mean, I have a pretty good sense of humor and like I laugh all the time, but I feel like they muted me out a lot, which was really frustrating to me. So when I watched it, I was like, really like all that work. And like, that, that's it. Like that's the scene, but okay. It's not, you know, it's not my show, not my call, but that was really frustrating for me. Like that was a lot of effort for, you know, just little clips, mm -hmm. but I, I guess maybe that's just how reality TV is. And that was my first go at it. Well, but that makes a lot of sense because I remember when I came into your office, if you guys are listening and you don't know, Dr. Jen literally did a, a whole makeover on my face. She <laughs> literally turned me into a new man. She fixed my jawline, my under eye bags, everything. And I'm forever grateful to her. <laughs> but when I came into your office, we had so much fun. You were so hilarious. Not that I didn't think you were fun and hilarious on the show, but it was just like your personality amplified. And so you saying that it totally makes sense. I, I feel like so much of, of your big personality because, because like you are very charismatic. I just feel like we only got like 10% of it throughout the season. And then what also was interesting is, you know, towards the end of the season and at the reunion, it, it, there was this idea that you were quiet and you just repeated lines back to people, which is just not how I that is, you. I mean, that, that was probably the only part of the show that I was actually really pissed off about <laughs> because it's like, excuse me you know like I mean I guess if you have five months of footage you know filming four or five days a week you can get whatever you want to get but um that that upset me and I I was talking most of the reunion and so just to be cut out is it made it made me upset do you do you think it was hard for you because you started right when like it was like Heather the Dubrow return and everything like that do you think there was like a lot of moving parts going on that might have made like some moments get cut to focus on her more, do you feel, or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, which I think makes sense because I mean, she's probably probably cost the network a lot for her to come back. I mean, I don't know. I've never talked about that with her, but I'm just assuming based on logic. Um, they, they probably want to focus on her, right? Of course, they're a big family and that's probably what they want to focus on. So in a way it was good because we had some class and like some normal people on the show that were I could relate to you know they're in medicine I'm in medicine they're hilarious and we have bantered back and forth all the time but at the same time I mean obviously the focus is going to be on them right like obviously so I understand that I just feel like that they could have gotten a lot more people's personalities and instead of like dumbing it down you know yeah now you mentioned that when you got let go you were initially relieved how yeah. do you process the feelings today have have they changed at all surrounding your departure no I mean I think it was really exciting to film so I liked the excitement of it it was a lot of work and but it was very exciting um I'm going through a lot right now personally as you guys all probably know you were, have filed for divorce and we're going through that process and I just moved and so I got a lot of stuff going on I'm building this practice up with the brain beauty body and it's like it's a lot. And so I couldn't even imagine that being on film right now. I'm sure it's a relief then to not have the cameras around while you and Ryan figure out this new uh, updated chapter of kind of what we saw on the show. Right, right, right. It's a little contentious right now. So probably, you know, better not to 
not to be <laughs> that film. That's so Mary, what can you say about where things stand with you and Ryan today? Like, what is the update? Because I, I I know things change so fast all the time in any relationship. Uh, well, I moved, and so I moved with the children and I. So we're living. The children and I are living together, and I'm not sure where Ryan's living. But um, yeah. So we, it has been a couple of months now, and we're just going through the whole process. We don't have a lot of contact. Try to. Not right now. He's still, he sees the kids. I'm with the kids 99% of the time. And, um, and yeah, so he, we're just trying to figure that out. Who has the dog? Um, I have the dog the most of the time, oh. but I'll have to say pups gets like depressed. So I'm like, please give dad the dog. Because <laughs> it's for the best of the dog, right? It's like, like, it doesn't matter how I feel. Like, I will get my I'm own happy. dog. Yeah. Do you have any contact with any of your, uh, the castmates that you filmed with? Like have any of them reached out to you with anything supportive yeah. or encouraging you? They have. Okay. Yeah. So everyone, well, Heather, Shannon, uh, and Gina reached out. So that was super sweet. Noella reached out when I filed for divorce, which was nice. nice. And then uh, most of us went out to lunch a while ago, but I haven't, I, te- well, I was texting Heather this weekend, just I was wondering if she was going to Del Mar because we were going down to Del Mar. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so we just here and there, it was really sweet. It was nice of them to reach out for sure. That Do you awesome. think that there is a, a pathway to friendship with you and Noella without the cameras there? I like I think so. I mean, out to you. I mean, possibly. Yeah. I'd like to get to know her on a more, maybe, you know, stable playing field. I, you know, I knew her before the show too. Um, but her life's changed. So maybe she's, you know, a little bit more down to earth now. So that'd be and cool. Did she, I'm, I'm, like- for, I'm up for being friends. You know, I, I don't, I want to burn bridges. I don't like having enemies. So of course I'm open as long as it's <laughs> respectful. <laughs> and when you say you knew her before the show too, did you feel you kind of like, was it on the show? I mean, of course I feel like the second the cameras went up, she had 800 million things change in her life. Yes. But yeah. do you well, think, yeah. yeah. Was there a moment when you're like, oh, this isn't the Noella I know. So maybe she'll be going back to that now that a lot of the dust has settled and she's no longer filming. I didn't, I mean, I wasn't like friends with her. We had met a few times, but, mm. um, I hope she's happier, you know, I mean, I mean, I hope that she's happier and, you know, definitely when the cameras were on, it was the whole, it was just weird. It was like the show's like, I'm performing instead of just be yourself. Like we want to get to know who you are, you know? So I would like I to get was... to know who she really is instead of just like the camera persona. You know what I mean? One of the things that I thought was really interesting that, that you've said recently is that after you were done filming a scene, Noella would turn to you and be like, wasn't that good? Like the fans are going to love this, which yeah. is so interesting to hear so I guess knowing that she was performing throughout most of the season did it ever make you give her the benefit of the doubt when you guys kind of butted heads like oh like she doesn't really hate me she's just performing I I mean I didn't really care to tell you the truth I thought either way like that's not an appropriate way to behave if you're performing or if that's how you feel whatever either way I'm like this is absolutely ridiculous and like I'm not gonna be part of it you <laughs> and Noella <laughs> you and Noella have uh certainly taken different uh routes shall we say after the news came out that you weren't returning for the next season I, I felt like you uh provided a very classy statement you-, you have definitely expressed gratitude for the experience and she has been posting things on her story kind of coming for Bravo um, uh, criticizing them for, for letting her go after just one season. What do you make of the way she's reacted to the news of her firing? I'm not surprised. It doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Um, you could kind of see it coming. You know, she was, was trying to get on the show for years. And like, I tried, I wanted to be on the show really bad too. I'm not saying I didn't fight for it. I definitely did. But like for years, that was like her dream. So I, 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 I don't, I could kind of see that that was what, how it would play out if that was the case. Well, I yeah. feel bad for her because I feel like it kind of might prevent her from popping up on a future season, maybe even as a friend of, or maybe on some sort of like girls trip one season wonder edition. Like, I just feel like she is blocking her blessings by putting this negativity out there. You know what I mean? Well, it's not, that's how it is with all of life, really. I mean, you're going to go around burning bridges. You're not going to be invited back. Like, that's just mm-hmm. how it is. So and, I don't think it's a smart move. 
And I assume, I am super thankful. I mean, it's their decision who they're going to cast. It's what, how they want the show to go. I always said, it, look, it's not my show. It's just my turn. So I'm grateful for my turn, right? And speaking of like, they like to, they cast and bring people back. We obviously now know the official news that court is in order. Tamara Judge is coming back. Yeah. What are your thoughts and feelings about that decision? Um, I mean, for the network, I think, I mean, that's kind of the trend of all the franchises mm-hmm. right now, right? They're bringing back people from the past. I mean, I know it's like Tamara's whole, her whole world is housewives. So good for her, right? But like, that's not my whole world. Like, that's not what I'm hanging my hat on for my life. I'm super appreciative that I was on it, but that's not what I want to be known for. I want to be known for helping people. Mm-hmm. So it's just a different, you know, what's and important to you in life. Do you think after you filmed with the ladies for a year, do you think Tamara coming back is going to be like fun for them? Or do you think they're going to kind of be like, why the hell? Bravo. I, I mean, we've seen Tamara film. I mean, she's very, you know, there's a lot of screaming and fighting and throwing. And, and that's what Housewives is. I get that. That's not what I am. So maybe that's why like they wanted that back. But um. I mean, I gotta her. say, that's her thing. I just said, Housewives I to me, it, but that's just me. I mean, there's thousands of people who do. So, Housewives <laughs> to me is getting a little too drunk at a dinner party, and you did that so well. Oh, but thank I you. Th- well, if I'm going to do it, I just want to go balls to the wall and then just, you know, exit stage left. So, <laughs> Yeah, that that was an iconic performance. I honestly like I enjoyed it. It, it made me want to do it. Like I wanted to get that drunk. You know, it's you know, it's so hilarious. I actually, one of my really good friends has a winery, and we made a wine last week together. So I'm, I have my own wine coming out. It's called Blonde. I'm already having more fun. And, I um, love that. And I was gonna take the clips where I was like, "This wine is so good. This wine is so good." I'm like, there's our advertisement. Yes. Oh my god, that is so great. I love that. You like my lot? It's like great. I'm already having more fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That is. I love that. Um. And then back to Tamara for for a little bit, uh, Doctor Jen. So you mm-hmm. knew her kind of through like mutual friends back in the day. No, no? I, I don't know her at all. Her best friend was my neighbor, and so okay. I so, said hi to her like once in passing. Like hi, nice to meet you. Oh hi, nice to meet you. That's did it. your castmates ever like what did you hear about Tamara from your castmates during your year of filming did they ever say anything about her they, they didn't talk about her really at all no I mean I have mutual friends that are friends with her but no people didn't we didn't talk about Tamara like off the camera when we were flying or anything like that no that was up. probably on purpose because at the beginning of your season Gina and Emily were doing a lot of press out here talking about Wow, we're so happy Vicky and Tamara are gone. It's going to be amazing. We're excited for some fresh blood. So I cannot imagine the first filmed group event when Tamara walks in the door and we got Gina and Emily there. I'm, their worlds are just going to, I'm sure they were wishing it was you instead of Tamara right now. They're probably wishing like, it was Noella. Like, let's talk about your face. Tamara's like throwing wine at a, like, watch the face, not the glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, also another uh, another little uh, drop of tea that you dropped recently, um, which I found so interesting is that so you you had auditioned for the show before and it was between you and Elizabeth Vargas yeah. at one point. So yeah, that that's so interesting to me. Um, because Ryan crushed that. Ryan crushed Ryan the crushed of that it. season. Yeah, he ruined my chances. What? Oh no! He, oh what gosh. happened? Okay, first of all, just in my defense for that season, for that interview, because they didn't make me re-interview, which was really nice of them. But I had to, I filmed at my office. I was doing neck threads and running my staff. This is the home interview, right? So most people go home and they're like, this is my home interview with a couple people. Okay, so first I had my staff and then I was doing procedures on patients' necks, like on camera. Then I had to go home and film with my children. Then I had to film with Ryan. And then it was the night of our dinner, our Christmas party for the office. Then that. So oh. I had that whole thing was my home shoot. Oh I didn't think that was God. fair. I was like, like the housewives hunger games. Yeah, I know. And it's also like, its own like, reality like, show. And then Elizabeth Vargas's home interview was like her and Bronwyn hanging out on a couch. I go, that is, she doesn't even have kids. Like that's not, or staff. Like that's not fair. I had to manage like 20 people. <laughs> well, Come speaking, on. Speaking of Bronwyn, actually, I know that you're friendly with her and she yeah. uh, was also uh, let go. So now you guys have that in common. Did Bron- Has Bronwyn given you any advice about how to navigate 
th- this time in, in a, your post housewives life. No, we haven't spoken since then. She did reach out a couple of weeks ago and just said, Hey, I'd like to go to lunch. Do you ever want to go to lunch? And I was like, Oh, that was nice. Um, but we haven't really touched base since, but she's always been kind to me. I mean, Bronwyn's always been good to me and people say whatever they're going to say. And I'm like, well, she's been nice to me. So I, that's what I have to go off of. And that's yeah, just, no. just yeah. Would you ever return for like a, a girl's trip thing? Would you ever come back as a friend of if you had of the opportunity? Of course. I was hoping, I was like, hope. actually, I, I didn't even really want to be casted this year. I was hoping to be casted as a friend because <laughs> I was like, that'd be so good because you could have, you know, you could do some of the stuff, but without the whole, like so much pressure of filming five, four or five days a week. Um, so that's what I was like, I would love that. And they were very kind to me. They were like, yeah, if there's any way we can work you in there, they were very nice to me. So, um, we spoke quite a few times and, and it was, it was all very pleasant. So that's lovely. I've heard from some housewife friends of that. The friend of gig is actually way better than the full time. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, you get to be, you get to be in the mix. You get to promote yeah. your brand. You get to like have fun, but you don't really have to like dig too deep yeah. into like the nitty gritty personal drama. So it kind of is like the best job in the, the, best in the housewives one. universe. Totally. Totally. So I was like, can we do that? So, um, they, and they were really, really nice about it. So I, I, I don't know, what, obviously I don't know what's going to happen, but, um, but they I, I thought that they were very gracious and loving and open-minded and said, call us anytime. We talked quite a few times and it was a really, it was a really positive thing. And I mean, obviously you are so busy right now dealing with so much stuff with your business and your personal life, but I feel like, I mean, there's such a Avenue on just TV and reality TV in general for plastic surgery and what you do. I mean, Terry is an oh amazing example of that. Are you brainstorming so- things like, mm-hmm. I would love to, this is my dream show. I would love to have a show called Overfilled. And I treat all the people who look like cat muppets and some of them don't know that they look like cat muppets. And we have to have the conversation that they look super freaky and other people are like mortified how they look. And then we fix them all. Cause I, that's half my business is fixing other people's work anyway. I mean, you saw I did Emily's face. Did you see the before and after on that? And, and, and you dissolved like, my lips, my wonky uh, oh ass yeah, lip filler. The pillow, I remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I mean, it was like fangs, right? It was like uh-huh. the fangs. I couldn't smile. Yeah. Otherwise I had lip fangs. <laughs> right, it's the right. So there, there is a show there. And I mean, the so theme song is Super Freak. A, I would love walk to after Super Freak. Thing. Yes. That would, Super Freak. Yeah, that would be <laughs> the, my dream life. So... Maybe. Is there any uh, Bravo celebrity you can think of that would be a, a, a good candidate for the pilot episode? <laughs> well, we've already done Emily. Let's see who's next. Um, I mean, well, we're, one person we were talking about was Denise, Denise Richards that I would just love to do her face because she would be so easy to do. But um, there's quite a few overfilled, uh, freaky looking housewives, I'd have to say. Would you agree? Oh, I have. So we can have like a lineup, like some mug shots. <laughs> well, and now some are even starting to realize it. Like, I don't know if you watch uh, Miami Housewives, but Lisa Hochstein, she she admits that she went overboard because her husband's a plastic surgeon and she run or a, a, a strange husband now is a plastic surgeon and she runs the. He's, he's the like, medicine. I'm going to make her look. He's like, I'm going to make her look super weird before the divorce. <laughs> I mean, but she so she runs the med spa. And when she first started it, she got so much access to all these different treatments and she was like give me everything then she got everything and she was like holy crap I need to right take Mm -hmm. it out now so yeah and it takes a while to kind of take everything out right or correction is is much more difficult than just starting from scratch I mean imagine like remodeling and ripping down a house and building it back up is way harder than just building a house right so you have to like there's, there's a technique in fixing and a technique and then making somebody look their best as well. And it is a process. We wait, you know, whenever I dissolve, I wait, I'd like to wait two weeks, but 72 hours at, at least until we start correcting anything. So yet they have to go through a kind of a freak out period where it's like, no, it's going to get really dividend and then it's going to come back up and then we're going to fix it. And like, it's the whole thing. I know. I feel yeah. like it's some, some housewives really do end up like, do you know that? Remember those books, Animorphs, where every season they come back looking a little different. Yeah. And I always get shocked where I'm like, 
you're a housewife, can't you? Why don't you go to the best you can get? Some of them just right. like find, like, I feel like they just like go on Groupon. <laughs> But the, the thing world. is, it's not even Groupon. And this is why that, that, that show overfilled or super freak would be so interesting is because people think that they look good, but oh. they don't look good. They look insane, but they think that they look good. And then they think that they want more. And you're like, oh my gosh, like we have, it's like a, the whole psychology behind it. There's like a whole psychology behind it. How you're going to talk to that person, how you're not going to have them have like a total mental breakdown. And then how you're going to like bring them through this journey to the other side. I mean, yeah. even your lips weren't that, I mean, they were fangy. But you were upset, remember? And I'm like, trust me, Evan. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I actually almost didn't want to let him go. And yeah, like the, right. The You're like, second I, paid I was this. like, yeah, right. I was like, this was $600. <laughs> I know. You're like, I paid for this. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I'm so I was so grateful that that you took them out. I finally read Dorinda Medley's book, and she talked about her first season of Housewives and how after she saw herself on camera for the first time, she was like, "I need X, Y, and Z," and she like got a bunch of shit done. So I hopefully didn't look that way because my whole take on going, see, I'm like, I wanted to almost do a, like a promotion at my work and just say, "You're gonna be season three, okay? There's no season one here. We're gonna make you season three. <laughs> I love that. And hopefully, like I came across that way because I was very aware that I was going to be on camera, and I didn't want to look like yeah, a season no, one. No, no, you look, you look <laughs> great, and I also like that your approach to this all is like natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, natural always, because natural is always the most beautiful, even if we're making you look natural. And I feel it's also like an embodiment of who you are, because even talking about you're just so natural and so yourself, and that's why I need you to do something else like in the entertainment field because you're just so good at it. It, it just, it's second nature to you. Well, thank you. I, mean, I love it. It's like, I don't even think about it. It's just, some, it's just talking to you. Right. And it's fun, but I would, I would, I would love to do something. So hopefully something will shake out. That'd be fun. Yeah. Are we you, we could all do you, it. <laughs> yeah. Are you actively like, like pitch going to pitch things? Do you think like in the near future? I haven't yet, but I had a couple of people reach out to me. So, I mean, I think that would be like a dream job. That would be awesome. Um, even when we were filming, Heather and Terry asked me to be the physician on their show. So that would, would have been cool, but the network wouldn't let me do it because I was under contract. So, mm. unfortunately. Um, but I, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I push the idea around to a few people for sure. That also makes me happy I think to hear it. I personally think fans would love it. I mean, oh. or keep patients just in general, because we walk down the street or especially in Newport. I, I, I don't know. This is just where I live, but you walk around and you're like, I, mean, I, my friends will say, what is, what is going on there? Like they can't place it. And I'll be like, Oh, the angle from the nose, to the cheek is too blunt. It needs to be more angulated. And they're like, Oh my gosh, you're right. And they think it's like, so interesting. Like they put the filler here. They should have put it here. You know what I mean? And, um, they're like, oh my gosh, how did you know that? I'm like, well, because I do this every day for years. But <laughs> <laughs> I think the general public would like be interested in something like that. 100%. Oh, and I also love to hear that Heather and Terry were like uh, looking to like bring you in and lift you up because I do, I feel like sometimes some people are like hit or miss with them. I love them. And I do think, I think they're great. Yeah. I think they love themselves as they should, but I think they're very supportive people through and through, it seems. Yeah, no, I thought that was such a huge compliment and I really appreciated it a lot. And I wanted to do it. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to, but um, that was super nice. Super nice. Looking I back didn't on... like, the only thing, I, I mean, it wasn't obviously Heather's edit, it was the network's edit, but this whole parroting thing with like Emily, I was like, really, Emily, I have no original thought. Like I only have original thought. Like. This is why I can't sleep at night because I, I stopped it. I mean, if it was a truth thing, I wouldn't be so upset about it. I'm like, shut up. Like, stop it. Yeah. I've built how many businesses on my own because I have no original thought. Mm -hmm. So that was upsetting. Right. I didn't like that. Did Emily reach out to you after, after yeah. you let go? You, she didn't. No. Okay. What was something that happened uh, that was caught on camera that maybe like a moment that you were particularly proud of that we didn't get to see that you wish that we did? Um, I thought that at, at my, at when I had the all cast event, they could have played a little bit more of the speech. It was not, I, what did they say? It was 25 minutes or something. That's not true. They were trying to make it seem super long. I was like, I have 10 minutes to explain neuroscience to drunk housewives. Hey, <laughs> game on, like challenge of my life <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and did it. 
by the way. But we started the presentation like I think probably 30 minutes too late into the party. So people were like on their third glass instead mm-hmm. of their second. And I thought that made a difference. Now, even even though <laughs> you know you and Ryan are are still trying to to figure it out. Um, you've mentioned that he he's been supportive of you uh, in the in the time that's passed since you were let go. Do you think he's proud of the way that you handled your first season of Housewives? Um, I'm not sure. He he was very supportive. He was actually pretty sweet about it. It was like one of the last times we really talked. But um, I I'm not sure because he's not a man of robust words. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> But he was like, he, I was upset. Like even, even if you know, you shouldn't be there or, you know, that you want to go on a lower role. Do you know what I mean? Nobody really, nobody wants to be dumped. Like you wanted to be like on your own terms, even if my plan was to be like, can I please be a friend of, but you want to come out of the gate saying that, you know what I mean? Like it always hurts a little bit. So he saw that I was hurt and he was really nice about it. So yeah i don't think it's i don't think it's easy for anyone even if you you know that it's coming like everyone's going to be let go at one point right like there's no one that's been on continually since the beginning of oc housewives so everyone knows that it's coming and it's like i feel like everyone should just be gracious to one another because we're all going to go through it you know what i mean it's so insane how so many life changes converged at one time for you between the new house the situation with ryan um, getting on housewives, the not being on housewives. I mean, how, like, how are you like mentally, emotionally? Are you good? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm a yeah. little, uh, I wouldn't say I'm a little, a little, dis- not distressed, but, um, you know, I'm de- like, I'm basically like a single mom now. So it's just, it's a whole different, you know, no one wants to see your kids suffer. I'm trying to just keep peace and, and stability for the children super happy about the new house but it's like kind of at a sad time of life so yeah. you know just balancing the two things is there anything so. you do for your i mean if you have five minutes in the day is there anything you do for yourself to kind of recharge or be like you know what i need some gen time yeah well i work out every day as you guys all know but now which you guys are we're, we're, i'm having a big um housewarming party and you should come but I'm right by the beach now so I can just I'll be the there <laughs> I can just walk to the beach and that's super recharging because it's like so beautiful and it's where I grew up too now Dr. Jen would you ever want to get engaged again on your private beach or hell no um yeah sure depend you know depends on the situation and how much I you can enjoy the beach good, on I your love own. a good comeback story so I, I'm all about the comeback story but you gotta be a little more, a little more cautious next time. <laughs> gotta have a lifeguard on the beach to check everything out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel, um, do you feel ready to date yet? Um, I feel, what do I feel? I feel that I love Ryan very much. I feel that Ryan, um, needs to take care of himself and get more centered and figure out what he's doing. <clears throat> that it's not really our time right now. But I do feel like kind of sad because I it, I feel like I've been in a very unloving situation for a long time. So does of course everyone wants to feel loved. So in that way, do I want to date? I would love to be in a loving relationship. I feel like that's been a big missing part of my life for a while, um, and I would like that. But at the same time, it's like I don't know. I've been with Ryan for twelve years, and I want to see him healthy too. I don't even know if I'm answering the question. No, but so, that yeah. makes sense. And I think it's an important time for you too now to kind of like learn, handle your new normal and just start to feel the love in your new home of like your new life. And then you can start to see like yeah. who you would want to add to add to it because you have so much and like you have so much fulfillment with your kids and your home and your business and everything. Yeah. So you're like, let's see when I'm ready and if I need it down the line even. Right. I love that. Right. That's good. Yeah. Do you feel good about your decision today to file? Do you feel like we want to move forward with that decision? I do feel good. Yes, I I do. Yes. Today I do. I have for a while. I mean, it's, it's, I wasn't, it's not like an easy thing, but um, I do feel good. I feel like it's not like I'm crying in bed sad. I feel more like it's like, oh my gosh, now we can just both of us kind of more go just enjoy life more you know like i don't like to see him upset i don't like to be upset so exhale i want it to be good for everybody you know yeah and and after having gone through what what you've been through in your marriage how do you think you would uh, approach a future relationship 
Are, are there any differences that, that you would make? Um, I, I would approach pretty cautiously, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I mean, just having, you know, a, whatever. Have, have some fun. I would like to just have some fun and laugh. Like who would I want to be have in my life? Someone who I laugh with, you know, before, before we let you go, Dr. Jen, for, for any new housewives who enter the mix in the near future on any franchise, what would be your number one piece of advice for them? Uh, be yourself, that it's not a performance. I feel like the people who are the most successful are the ones who are just authentically them. Cause you can't go wrong with it. You're just like, this is just who I am. Um, that I think, I think, I mean, I don't, I don't know any other way I've said that before, but I think that the audience picks up on who's genuine and who's not genuine. Mm -hmm. And that's a really important thing. Thank you so much for making the time, Dr. Jen. We really appreciate it. It was so great catching up and I'm going to have to book another appointment soon because I can move my forehead again. Well, you have a yeah, wedding coming up. You might want to book before then. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. saying. I'm just, just saying. On party day, we'll do your face. It'll be fun. Now that's a bachelor party. There you go. Uh, <laughs> oh my, a Botox <laughs> bachelor party. That is fashion. Yes. I, I will participate. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, it. you guys. Bye. So good to see you. You too, Dr. Jen. And so nice meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Danny. I'll talk to you soon, Evan. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Bye. Bye.